Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to teach you how to make a teddy bear from paper mache. So let's get started. For this DIY, you're going to need some paper mache and in our old videos, we have taught how to make this. And then you're going to need some flour mixed in with some water. You're going to just need some water and a surface to work on and you want to put something on your surface. And then you want to make like a round oval like I've made over here and take like a round section from like one of the sides as you can see and then just press it and make it all round and now take that piece that we took out and more paper mache and put it to make it into a ball and once you have the ball ready you want to just flatten it out and make like an oval shape until you like it and this is going to be for the legs now what we're going to do is stick in a popsicle stick and then just take that round oval that we made for the leg and just stick it in that popsicle stick as well and you just want to put this in slowly since you don't want like the stick coming out or yeah <clears throat> so i'm putting that in and then i'm just shaping it around and then i'm going to go ahead and put the other leg in and as you can see the popsicle sticks aren't like brand new and all so but that's okay then i'm just going to poke in the popsicle stick and take another ovalish circle and pop it right in and there are our two legs and now we're just going to cover that up with some flour and i just want to remind you guys only use flour if it's really warm outside because otherwise your flour is going to start stinking when it starts to dry up and then you're going to make a round piece like this which we're going to put at the top and i also have some of that flour put on and now what we're going to do is stick in a couple popsicle sticks as i'm doing right here and i've sticked in three then I'm just going to pop on that body part and just stick it on. And then you have it on and then all the places that you think need to be covered up or got destroyed, you just want to fill them in with some clay, paper mache, clay, whatever you want to call it. And just take a little and just push it in. And it's going to be really wet, but it's going to dry up soon. And then you want to make two more roundish circles like we made the legs. Poke up popsicle sticks and just stick it on. And this is going to be one of our arms. And then you just want to like make sure you get it in right. Like I didn't get it in right for the, fir in the first time. So I'm just going to put it in again. Just like that. I'm going to push it in. And we have one of the arms in. And then you just want to go ahead and put in the other one. Then you just want to take some clay and like join the two arms together. Not the two arms together, you want to join the arms and the body together. And then you just want to shape it to what you like. And then just cover that up with some of that mixture that we made using flour and water. I'm just going to cover it up. And do this DIY when it's really warm outside because you really want this to fully dry up. And here I'm just like joining the two pieces together, adding some clay and then filling it up with some of this mixture. Then just pressing it in. And then here I have the two arms in. I have all the clay, all the mixture thingy on. And then I have another roundish piece that I've made for the head. And I've sticked in three popsicle sticks and then I'm just going to go ahead and put in the head. Like that. And you want to make sure it's all pressed in tight. And then you're going to make two round circles and like they should be flat from one side and stick into popsicle sticks and then stick in the circles and these are going to be the two little ears and then i'm just going to push that in and then i've added on the other one and just added some of the mixture on top and then i've made another piece like this and i'm just going to stick it in and this is going to be like the mouth and not the mouth the nose piece and then i've then I'm going to take two more of these toothpicks and just stick them in. Like that. I have one in and then I'm just going to put the third one. And here is how it looks all done. I've added in two little gems for the eyes. And now what we're going to do is just let this dry up. And I'll, this is how it looks. You can see the two little eyes. We have the 
the nose and the arms and what we have done is added more clay to the sides because when it's going to dry up it might fall apart if there's not too much weight on the bottom and now you just want to put this against a wall and let it dry and here it's like two weeks and it has dried up for two weeks now what i've done is just taken some glue and added it on top and if it's not warm outside you want to just use glue or the flowers are going to smart start like smelling and it smells quite bad gotta admit and then you just want to fill up the holes with the glue huh like any sort of cracks and if there's like if a bird or something has ate it like it has done like a bird ate my piece like a little there so i filled it up with some tissue paper and like added on some glue and now what i'm going to do is just pop out the two eyes because we want the whole thing to dry up and when it's all dried up we're just going to take some hot glue or gorilla glue and just stick in the two eyes and now i'm just going to take in some glue put it right there like that and now i'm just going to go ahead and let this dry and here it's all dried up this is how it looks and yeah this is how it looks it's all dried up got a lot lighter and it's still going to dry up even more and now what we're going to do is just take this baby and give it a paint and we're going to paint it and I'm using like this pastel pinkish color it's kind of like a skin color and all so I'm just going to go ahead and paint the whole thing and I've done that right here and now what I'm going to do is take some red paint and just like color the nose and I've made like a tiny outline and then colored it in not colored, painted it in. And you can choose to paint it any colors you like. Just like that. And here I'm done like painting what I've got so far. Now I'm just going to add some Mod Podge on top of this. And this is going to give it like a glow, a shine type look. So here's how it looks and all. It's a little glowy right now, but it's going to dry up clear. And now what we're going to do is stick the eyes back in. And you can do this by using Gorilla Glue or Hawk Glue, any type of glue that you have. And here's the final product. I have went and painted the bottom red and done this like red outline over the whole teddy bear. And this is the final product. So we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye!